Warning, this video contains bad editing, terrible lighting, and an impending sense of boredom throughout. Unless you've been living under a rock recently, you know the Olympics has come to England. Specifically, London. A lot of people have been getting excited about this, particularly the English. Anyone who knows me knows that I really am not a big fan of doing sport. I, I don't mind watching it, but taking part's never been something I enjoyed. So, as you could probably tell, the bit I was most excited about seeing was the opening ceremony. I mean, that's probably the case for a lot of people. The opening ceremony is a big deal. Also, despite me not being very patriotic, I did sort of want England to do a good job. And despite my previous doubts, I think, I think we did. I mean, I, like a lot of people, did have some doubts about how good the ceremony would be. I sort of had the impression that we'd end up trying to sort of play to stereotypes of a bunch of posh people wearing top hats drinking tea. And although there were people wearing top hats in the ceremony, I thought it was... it just sort of detailed what we're known for, or what we think we're known for. Overall, I really liked the ceremony, and there were a few things in particular that really stood out to me as being very, very good. First of all, the section with the NHS and the whole thing about British authors I thought was pretty damn good. Um, the giant inflatable Voldemort was a bit scary and a bit sort of unexpected for me. I'd heard about Voldemort being used in the ceremony on Mock the Week, but I didn't think it would be used in that way. Second of all, the segment about British music I thought was pretty good, although there are a couple of changes I would have made to what music was actually played. First of all, cutting down the segment with that rapper, I'd, I'm not sure what his name is, but Tiny Temper, I don't know, Dizzy Rascal maybe? Um, yeah, he got quite a big section. I think it's good to have, you know, sort of more modern music as a key point, but I think what Britain's more known for is their classic rock music. I mean, The Who, Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, if you, you might classify it as pop rock, but three big groups that sort of influenced the world quite a lot, and they had very small segments, so I think that could have been improved on a bit more. I mean, we only got 12, 15 seconds of trampled in the foot from Led Zeppelin. Let's have some more, please. And finally, the bit that I think everyone loved was the whole Rowan Atkinson thing. Having a bit of comedy in there, rather than just being a super serious celebration, I thought was a really good idea. I mean, England's known for making good comedies, you know. The two Ronnies, uh, Monty Python, Blackadder, so on and so forth. Quite well known. But yeah, I thought that was a really nice touch. Despite me thinking a few of the music choices could have been changed slightly, I thought it was a really good ceremony. I find it hard to be able to compare the opening ceremony of Beijing to the one in London because they're two very different sort of experiences. I mean, without a doubt, the Beijing one was a lot more exciting and a lot more sort of dazzling and visually I thought it was obviously much more beautiful. But I did like the one in London. It, it did sort of display what we're sort of proud of. I mean, we've got obviously the big section of the Industrial Revolution with Brunel. I thought that was really good. Um, obviously at the start it did sort of play into stereotypes, you know, gentlemen playing cricket, you know, top hats and so on and so forth. Overall, I thought it was really good. Oh, I nearly forgot. Um, I'm quite happy about them including Tim Berners-Lee in there. I mean, he's a pretty important figure and I think he does deserve the recognition. I mean, if you're watching this video, or watching any video on YouTube, you really do owe it to him, because he's made all this possible, so... Big thumbs up from me to put him in there. By the time this video is out, a lot of the events have already started, you know, that big thing about Michael Phelps only getting fourth. He's fourth best in the world. That's still pretty damn good. I'd like to see anyone complaining about it do better than that. So yeah, that's my opinion on the uh, opening ceremony of the Olympic Games in London. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you've got an opinion about the opening ceremony, feel free to leave it in the comments. If you like the video, like it. If you didn't, dislike it. And next time it'll be Jack talking. His video will probably be miles better, special effects, you know, much better commentary, and probably much better editing than what I've been doing. Pretty poor, to be honest. So yeah, enjoy watching the rest of the games, and I'll see you another time.